Um, are we in Cyberpunk or something? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find. Girls are counting on the Akasha. It won't let you. Well, uh, sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to Catherine, serve you. Catherine, why the cold shoulder? With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. How many times have we met and greeted? Do you know a way we can do that? Understood. Please wait. I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. Ooh, where does this lead? Um, don't mind if I do, sir. Um, you can talk. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha. <laughs> It's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Seriously? Blessings from the Dendro Archon. I hope all our patients can get well soon. Ooh, you look pretty. Ooh, you look pretty too. I don't know who to pick. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? I think I might be more interested in you, ma'am. Huh? Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, dear. Hmm. What's wrong? Are you gonna take it next step? This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. Then it is meaningful. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination. Not because I agree Oh, what a cool character. Thank you, dear. And all we did was not long. <laughs> whoa, 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 Dunyazard. I'm fine, really. Press Coley and now you. Things have calmed down. Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. You've seen her in the flesh? Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends. And my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any hopeful information. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dinyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. And who are these two? Oh, have you not met the renowned legendary uh, fantastic the traveler, traveler before? My two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeris Festival. What the? Is this the dance they're gonna perform? Bidi Aini, what the hell? Oh, this is an Indian dance. Oh, that's cool. Wait, wait. Biryani doesn't look like this. Not the ones I eat. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Rukadevata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. <laughs> one started I know the guy who got drunk <laughs> first. Greater... Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin. Do they do well for your ears? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. It's good to see that you take care of yourself. Whatever you are. I mean, Tanari looks like an Inari. You look like a small fox. Am I just, am I just cursed? <laughs> am I just cursed to meet foxes? Is that Catherine? That doesn't look like Catherine to me, Paimon. Looks like a small little girl has wandered in. <laughs> or is it you, Catherine? Huh? Oh, hey. It's the Traveler and Paimon. What's shaken? Shaken? Whoa. Break time Catherine <laughs> sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Paimon was still waiting for her to say add Astra Break time Astra Catherine Astra. rules. Sure. Sumeru Rose. I love that's what the rose is called. Sumeru Rose. Great job, Mioyo slash Hoya Word slash Kong and Spirit slash China. Are you friendly? You're friendly too? Can I shake your hand? Can I pat you on the head? <laughs> no! Ah, this is Kunria tech, alright? 
If Kanye was able to make something like this, I mean, the gods are powerful, but do you see this mecha-sized Gundam in front of me? Bro, why would you play this beautiful game on MOBA? Why do you hate yourself this much? I don't understand. Are you stupid? So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King... <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of Mora this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. And 50 Mora. Huh? What is this? Some kind of joke? Put the rest of the zeros by yourself. Well, since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... <clears throat> certain something, no? A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it. And you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Divine knowledge capsule. Wow. Hold on a second. Paimon thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million mora each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to discerning find customer. Liking. Please take Don't put time. me in the same level as this Princess P brain. Uh oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's this is all your fault. <laughs> this is oh, me in kid form. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. You hear that, Paimon? 0.073% is not worth 100k more up. Wait, how much? I hate you. Oh, Dory's such a jerk! Ah, oh, bro, I love the music. Have I said this enough? Hairdresser? Do you need an in-room haircut service? Yes, I'm about the sages. The sages enjoy the highest status in academia. There's one per school, six in all. The sages assign jobs to us researchers. It's like I was sent to monitor the ocean or watch the lighthouse. It's basically a boring job, but there's no sea creatures. The only positive side is its security. So there's six sages, though. Careful. Stay behind me, Paimon. Connection. Now. How? I like them. You got moves. I'll give you that. You just do what's needed. Then. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. <laughs> And take a little something as compensation. World, forget me. That line again. I'm heading back to the academia. How about you two? What are you gonna do with that capsule on your back, anyways? Mm. Now, do I deal with this thing first, or should I produce the report that the higher ups require? Who's your higher up? I wonder. All right, we finished Act One. All right, the coming of the Subzeros Festival. 